Today's topic is vectors, right? The concepts of parallel dot product and cross product of two vectors will be cleared by using this question. Question is let a equal to 2i plus 3j plus 4k, b vector is i minus 2j minus 2k, and c vector is minus i plus 4j plus 3k. If d is a vector perpendicular to both b and c, and a dot d equal to 18, where i, j, k are these are unit vectors along x axis, y axis, z axis respectively. What we have to find? A cross D magnitude D square. Four options are given to you here. One of the question is correct. Right? Next. For this is for 11th standard physics, NEET, J main and other intercept relations. Before starting, let me discuss the Concept and formula. Magnitude of vector. Let a vector is that the magnitude of that vector will be equal to a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square. All I do. This is the magnitude of vector. Then dot product or square product. A dot b. A dot b is equal to magnitude of a, magnitude of b into cos of theta. Theta is the angle between the two vectors. This is in terms of angle is cardinal coordinates a1, b1 plus a2, b2 plus a3, b3. Right? Cross product or vector product is a cross b is equal to magnitude of a, magnitude of b into sine theta into eta where eta is unit vector vector perpendicular to both perpendicular to both a and b like this is vector a this is vector b this is vector a this is vector b then this will be a cross b this will be a cross b in this case this is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree this angle is theta right this cross product of two vectors is another answer a uh, vector which is perpendicular to both the vectors a and b this is the in terms of cardinal coordinates i j k a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 can be written as i i j k so a2 b3 a2 b3 minus a3 b2 minus j we suppress it then a1 b3 a1 b3 b3 minus b1 a3 plus k then a1 b2 a1 b2 minus b1 a2 right in terms of this in terms of this cross product is this next unity vector perpendicular to both the vectors both the vector is unit vector suppose a vector and b vector is given to you then unit vector perpendicular to both the vectors will be a cross b divided by the a cross b magnitude. This is a very important question for the point of CVSC board for the for this purpose, right? For two vectors to be parallel, a vector equal to lambda b, where lambda is any scalar, right? Now let's start the question. D is a vector perpendicular to both the vectors. D is a vector perpendicular to both the vectors B and C. Means one vector is B, one vector is C. Or D is a vector which is perpendicular means this vector will be 
90 degree this will also be 90 degree so this is b cross c now d vector is perpendicular both of means this is d vector is parallel to b cross c means this can be d is parallel to b cross c therefore d vector will be equal to lambda b cross c right to calculate b cross c b cross c will be equal to i j k b i minus 2 minus 2 then minus 1 4 and 3 on simplification we will get 2i minus j plus 2k right by using the above formula then d vector will be d vector to lambda b cross c that is lambda 2i minus j plus 2k right now according to question according to question a dot d is given to 18 a dot d is 18 a vector is 2i plus 3j plus 4k 2i plus 3j plus 4k dot lambda 2i minus j plus 2k equal to 18. Lambda is scalar, we can write this in terms of cardinal quadrant 2 into 2, 4 minus 3 plus 8 equal to 18. This comes out to be 9 lambda equal to 18. Lambda comes out to be 2, right? Then d vector will be equal to from this 2 say multiply here this will become 4i minus 2j plus 4k what is your requirement our requirement is to find a cross d whole square bend into a is a cross d equal to i j k then 4 minus 2, 4, 2, 3, 4. On simplification, we will get 20i, 20i plus 8j minus 16k. Right? So, magnitude of a cross t whole square will be equal to. 20k square 400, 64, 256. This comes out to 720. 720 is the option. Here, A option. A option is your correct answer. A option is correct one. A option is correct. A option is correct right next I will request if you are new to my YouTube channel set is done please like and subscribe share my bell channel and press bell icon to receive updates on concept clearing videos something or more about the vectors some definitions are given to you that are very useful for the need purpose and other interceptors what are the co initial vectors the vector which have the same initial point what are the localized vectors? Those vectors which have initial point is fixed are known as localized. What are the non-localized vectors? Those vectors whose initial point is not fixed are known as normal. Vectors which have a starting point are known as the polar vectors. One are axial vector which has represent the rotational factor acting along the axis polar vector. But the physical point which have no specific direction have defined value and defined value for the tensor. All examples are given to you. Very, very useful information. Right? Thank you, Dhaneva, Bhad Bhad Dhaneva, Bhad Bhad Dhaneva.